Nossa, que Euriforation. Uh! He's a man. Seems that Alfred left Lionel for dead. I think I'm morally obligated to show him the record. Uh, well. <laughs> I don't really blame him though, guys. It is Bigfoot, and he was scared for his life. And he ran away. The thing is, he just ran away. <laughs> he didn't even warn him. Maybe that's the problem, guys. He didn't warn him at all. Yes, unfortunately, it's true. I'm so ashamed. Lionel and I were tracking Bigfoot's prints, but couldn't find anything else. Lionel was adamant about finding him, but I confess, I started to have doubts. All right. walking for a while by then and I, I could see the storm coming so I said to him that we've got to leave or we're dead but Lionel wouldn't budge he was afraid that the snow would destroy our only lead the prince so he insisted that we hurry up until we got results so that's why he was uh, on the ground examining the prince Then the track stopped, and behind Lionel, I saw him. And then you ran away. The Bigfoot was standing over us. So scary. I, I ran away, but got a glimpse of Lionel trying to take a photo of the creature. I guess Bigfoot got to him. I acted cowardly. I know, I'm sorry about it. But... I think a lot of people in my place would have done the same thing. Turn the square pieces until the picture is assembled. Ah, 
I still think that he is a man, guys. I think Bigfoot is still a man. Dressing in a costume. Alright. Oh, bucket with sand. Is there a way to climb up to the top? Using our climbing gear, guys. Our lack of climbing gear. <laughs> Using sand. <laughs> no, no, no. Send it for something else. Snowshoes? Ice shoes. You need to connect all the cells with knots with safety rope, but the rope must not pass through one knot twice, and it can only go straight through the next knot. Okay, need to find the perfect starting point. I think that is a perfect point to start. Hello Pavlina, welcome to the stream. Uh, looks like our uh, chapter 1 is done, guys. This is chapter 1. Ooh, found you. Bigfoot is Stop. out. Stop! Don't move! Bigfoot is here. He didn't harm you. Ooh. Is he friendly? Is he a. What the? No, don't shoot him! He is a friend! Oh no, he shot him! <laughs> no! Run! Why did you shoot him? He was so far away. Oh, thank you for saving me. It, it all happened in a flash. The storm, and then Bigfoot grabbed me. I'm so sorry, Lionel. I, I didn't want to leave you like that. But I was scared out of my mind. It's okay, I understand. Not every day you meet a real Bigfoot. But now we know for sure he's not a myth. This monster is dangerous. We need to get rid of him. Don't think that any of this is over. No, we don't. <laughs> Don't want to turn these in, don't want to turn these into King Kong again, guys. No. Bigfoot is not King Kong. <laughs> we don't have to destroy him. We found out that Bigfoot is not a myth. And he seems to have a grudge against humans. But why? Well, I suppose the people of Bluros are now in great danger. I must stop him at all costs to protect the people of the city. Bigfoot is in the city's limits. He might attack someone. What? That's because he shot him. That's why. <laughs> he wants revenge now. Whoa! Bigfoot! He's not that tall, actually, guys. Don't touch him, you <laughs> beast. Oh, no. Not again. Whoa! He's actually human size. I think he is a human wearing a costume. Call for an ambulance, and I'll stop the monster. He's around the same height as a woman. Okay, what a difficult situation. Need to figure it out. Call an ambulance. I'm surprised of his size <laughs> compared to the picture, guys, and compared to the reports. He's only like six feet tall. So I think he's human. <laughs> is that the same raccoon that we just fed earlier? <laughs> he is back. The raccoon is back. Blue Rock News. Near Blue Rock residents, please be advised of increased snowstorm activity in our area. Use caution on the roads. Road conditions can be difficult if it's necessary to go out on the roads. Use personal protective equipment such as warm clothing and shoes. Take care of yourselves. Blue Road Administration. Uh, steps, glue, hairspray, and a pole. What is this pole, guys? 
Let's take a microphone stand. So what exactly do I do I need? Am I building a ladder here? Find a way to reach the, the animal, I think. <laughs> reach the raccoon. Alright, I don't see a phone anywhere. But the infirmary is just a few feet away. Maybe there's a way to... Reach the hospital. A coin, a foreign coin. Hairspray, am I trying to use a torch? Hairspray. Just weld it like this? Is it really going to hold? Wow. Hello, are you the same one <laughs> that I found earlier? You look the same. We meet again! <laughs> you are hungry again? This is your second meal of the day? Did you steal the bag from the lady? <laughs> he is a naughty raccoon, guys. He is a thievious raccoon. He is Sly Cooper. <laughs> Use the arrows to arrange the goods in such a way that the number of items corresponds to the numeric identifiers. So... Got a one, got a four here. One, two, three, one, two, three... Two... There we go. A little bit tricky, guys. A torch. Portable charging device. Nicole and ambulance. She's fine. She just fainted, that's all. Could be from a shock, or from something else. You should let her rest for a bit, and then she can go. Thank you for your help. My name is Maria Priestley. I'm the director of a local museum, and a historian. I have studied Bigfoots for many years, and please believe me, they are only defending their territory. Apparently someone has invaded it. I saw one of them today. I'm sure he was going to say or show me something, but then the sheriff intervened and the poor creature got scared. Do you believe me? I do, yes, I do believe you. 
but I still need proof. I need physical proof. Sure, I'm sure together we can get it. My Bigfoot research is in the museum. Please go there and see for yourself if the Bigfoots are the real deal and want to communicate. A side quest. I'll join you as soon as you get to the location. Oh, and uh, I keep the spare key behind a plaque near the entrance. She is really passionate about the topic, but it's probably not a clear cut. And that is not a side quest. <laughs> it's a main quest, guys. New task, learn more about Bigfoot at the museum. Uh, why is this scarf on the fender? Uh, let's look at this scarf. Memo actions for frostbite. Move to warm, move the victim indoors. Rest warmly, ensure dry and warm clothing. Contact medical personnel if possible. Seek medical attention for evaluation and treatment. Remember, frostbite requires the, requires the attention of the medical professional. Sign, medical staff of Blue Rock Infirmary. Frostbites are serious, guys. Fan remote. Piece of tin foil. Right? I wonder if that works here or not. Is it a fan control remote? Amulet with the symbol of Hygia. Little scarf. Uh, I'm not sure what the panel does. <laughs> it opens. Up. Should that be a storage place for a spare key? The secret hidden panel. That is odd. All right. There's also no place for me to use the symbol in here. I don't think there is a place unless this is the puzzle piece. Oh. Use the Argia vessel amulet. To step over all bacteria amulets, you and you do so, the bacteria will disappear. So using this to disperse or get rid of all the bacteria, guys. Okay. And I suppose I have to do it in one single sequence. Yes. Okay. Start over again. Oh. Oh wait. There were two of them. <laughs> I didn't see the other one. Actually, two of them here. Now, do they need to eat each other? <laughs> no. They can coexist. The two doctors, guys. They don't have to turn into Hannibal. <laughs> Extinguish our uh, extension cord. Extinguish our. Uh, bash the lock open. Pill bottles? I don't see a place for the pills. Alright, forget it. <laughs> the dropper.
Cotton pad. Again, the pills. Pill box. Pills at the top. Pill bottle. Oh. <laughs> All right. Key to the museum. Uh, so what is up with the panel, though? <laughs> that was useless. Open up the panel. Okay, Blue Rock Museum. I'm sure the side quest is in here. Let's see what information we can find. A brochure. Guide to the Blue Rock City Museum. Welcome to the fascinating journey through history and culture of our amazing city of Blue Rock. Appreciate the vastness of nature in our rich forests, rivers, and unique ecosystems. Sincerely, Blue Rock Museum. Uh, there's a night nice ring to that. <laughs> Those words. Piano keys. All right, glass cutter, guys. There's a a chain link. Looks like a chain link. Can I plug in the cord? Extension cord? Glue. Okay, but we need to turn it on. The computer is still off. all the pieces together. There is a fingerprint on the mug. Is there a way to lift the print? Antisept... Using that to... <laughs> using antiseptic guys, what a waste. I was saving that for uh, emergency purposes. <laughs> Not for removing the stains. That was a waste. You need to play the right notes before time runs out. Play the right note. You mean these notes? Uh. Okay. Yeah. You're here. Good. I'm still weak, but ready to help you protect the Bigfoot. You can take a look around the museum. I'm sure you'll find something useful. If you want, I can open my office. There is a lot of interesting stuff inside. I even studied the Bigfoot language once. Maybe you can learn it too. Bigfoot language? Wow. Yes. 
That sounds like a side quest, guys. Six points side quest. Great, I didn't check that play out. Awesome. I'll get it open for you then. Hey, side quest. Yeah, Maria's office. That way, guys. Let's go visit her office. Wonder what if there is any information out there about the Bigfoot language? Well, she says there is some. <laughs> it's not her office, guys. So I'm sure there is a bit of research done here. Uh, took a whole day to learn the Bigfoot language. It's a real shame. Only one whole day? You are a genius, Maria. It took you one day, one single day to learn the Bigfoot language. <laughs> she is a genius, guys. <laughs> It's a real challenge, but I'm passionate about the process. I will compile vocabulary and notes and try to unravel their unique expressions. I'm sure that understanding of this language will lead to exciting discoveries for our museum. Maria, it took her one whole day, guys, to learn the whole language. Wow, impressive. Does that needs tuning? A little box. A little box of Bigfoot memorabilia, guys. <laughs> A little big box. A tuna, radio tuna. What does that tune? The radio? The projector? Or something else? Or the computer, guys? What does it tune? It tunes the violin! Oh, it's one of those digital ones. Right. But you still have to use. Uh, yeah, use these uh, screws, right? So it only tells you if the sound is in sync or not. Oh, is, that, is it out of tune? You can see that on the display. Tune the violin, use the interconnector pack so that the arrows on the tuner are indicated at positions. So there are four different ones. Do they affect one another? Yes, they do. A spring. Two springs. Alright, we have the tape. I need to leave the print. The fingerprint. Uh, can we take it out? Can we leave the print? Huh. <laughs> we stuck the tape on it. Cannot remove it though. What was that? 